This next story we're tempted to call Raiders of the Lost Arts involves a local artist's quest to recover 17 paintings, his own paintings, lost for a quarter century in the wilds of Siberia. Here's Como's Corwin Hake. Indiana Jones has nothing on Camino Island painter Jack Gunter. In the late 1980s and the waning days of the Cold War, Russians visiting the Seattle area fell in love with Gunter's bold works depicting the struggle of the common man versus encroaching technology. They said, would you like to come and exhibit your paintings in Russia. We can arrange that for you. Well, that was USSR at the time. Gunter agreed and in 1989 found himself accompanying 17 of his paintings, first to Moscow. And then they took us to one of Stalin's secret cities. In Siberia, they were doing all kinds of scientific uh, weapons research and things like that. His paintings went on display in this remote Siberian city. Gunter's visa allowed him only a short stay, and when he left, he left the paintings behind. I was going to come back in 1990 and get them and bring them home. In the meantime, the wall came down, the government collapsed. And the whereabouts of Gunter's art became very uncertain. And they're big. They're like four feet wide. Nearly 25 years later, Gunter returned to Siberia to look for his missing art. A camera crew came along, and what happened is captured in a new documentary. The movie is called The Quest for the Lost Paintings of Siberia. I'm not going to tell you if Gunter ever again laid eyes on his paintings, but I will say his adventures in Siberia were at times hilarious and harrowing. I brought $25,000 for bribes, which I raised on a crowdfunding source. It was the year the Seahawks won the Super Bowl, and Gunter also greased some skids by passing out Marshawn Lynch jerseys. And I'm in the middle of uh, this Mongolian crazy region with this shaman woman, and so we say to her on camera, say, go hot. And she says, go f We said, no, no, hawk, hawk, oh. Gunter eventually found himself appearing on Russian television, making a plea for world peace. And I said, Russian people and American people are the same. We just want to see our grandkids grow up. We want someone to love us when they come home from work. And the government's a bumping head somewhere above our heads, and we don't have any issues with each other. The whole adventure unspools tonight in Everett when the quest for the lost paintings of Siberia screens at the historic Everett Theater, and then next weekend at the Lincoln Theater in Mount Vernon. Gunter expects the movie to hit the film festival circuit this summer. Corwin Hake, Como News.